I'm Amy from CuddleCrewPatterns.com and today I'm going to show you how to make my free Bernard the Bear teddy bear. So the first thing you'll need to do is lay out all the pattern pieces on top of your fabric so that you can then cut them out and cut round. Okay, so when you've cut out all your pattern pieces, you should have them all laid out like this. First thing that we're going to do following the pattern instructions is work on the legs. So we'll smooth these out of the way. You're going to take just one of the legs to begin with and fold it in half down the centre. And then you need to pin it so that it holds it nice and steady. You need to put your, make sure your pins go in vertical to the seam. And that just means that your sewing machine foot can go straight over it without crashing into it and making that terrible sound. So I'm just putting lots of pins in and then I know that it will hold it nice and secure as I go off to the sewing machine now to sew it. Okay, so over to the machine and I'm just sewing it. And as you can see, the sewing machine is going straight over those pins. So once you've sewn around them, then we need to move to putting the little foot pad in now. So you can just make sure that uh, the two points here at the top are going to meet. Uh, so I'm just going to pin that in place and then pinning around carefully, making sure that I'm going to leave that gap uh, like it shows on the pattern. So I just put lots of pins in. Like this, it gets a little bit fiddly. I'd say this was the most fiddly part of the pattern just because you're working with this small piece and it's coming around this tight corner here. If you're feeling a little bit less confident when it's time to go over to the machine, this is something that maybe you could sew by hand. Okay. And that's ready. I'm just leaving that gap there so that now I can go over to the machine. Okay, so I've sewn those off at the machine and I've turned them in the right side out now. All I need to do now is I'm going to do the same for my arms. So I'm going to pin all the way around, leaving that gap here over to the machine with those. And again with the ears, pinning around and sewing around from here to here so that we've got our open edge open. Okay, so I've done my arms and I've done my ears now. I'm just going to pop those to the side. I'm going to do the same now with the body, working around again, don't forget to leave that gap. And then we're going to move on to the head. Now the head, this is called what we call the piece that we call the gusset. So I'm just going to choose one of those sides. And then, as you can see, I'm just matching the points together as they're written on the pattern. And then again, if there's any kind of tight corner or tight point, then you just need to make sure that you're putting a pin in at that point. Just so that it really holds that shape on your sewing machine as you go around. You can see now, we've got that shape there. And then I'm just going to pin all the way around here so that it meets there at the back. And when I've sewn that on the machine, then it's time to get the other piece and to do the repeat on the same side. Okay, so I've just finished sewing both sides of the gusset now. And then all I've done is just pinned it around down the chin there to finish that part off. Now I'm going to show you how to do some safety eyes. So the first thing you need to do is, once you know where your eyes go, and that's here and here, uh, then you just need to make a little hole and I like to use a quick and pick and just nick a few of the stitches out there. Okay, I can test it just to make sure it's big enough yet for my uh, eye to go through. And then I need to make a matching hole on the other side. And then I'm going to turn the fabric inside out. Okay, so I've turned the head back out, the right side out now. And I've already put one of the eyes in and then finding that little hole that we made before, just in case of popping the eyes in. And then very carefully, I like to call this the bolt part of the eye, and this is the nut part. And then just very carefully, I'm just going to squeeze that down. And that will just make sure that my eye is nice and tight there now. And same with the other eye. Next we're going to move on to little Bernard's ears. So on this side I've already pinned Bernard's ear, and now I just need to hold it in place. This other side, just hold it in place with one other pin. And that's so that in a moment, when we've looked at ladder stitch and how to do it, which I'm going to show you on the arms next, then you'll be able to come back and use ladder stitch to sew those ears in place. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do ladder stitch to sew up these little gaps that we've left in the seams. So I've just got a long thread here and I've got a good solid knot on the end there. I'm going to come in from the inside so that we don't see my knot and it's hidden. Push any loose threads that might be around inside and then you just need to secure that. We never trust a knot when we're sewing toys um, just to make it a little bit safer. So I'm just going to go over that same point three times and then um, like the diagram that's shown you're just going to go in come up the say come up and out on the same side cross over onto the other side 
in and up and out along on the other side and then again cross over and out cross over up and out and you can see at the moment it's looking very loose but when I pull that tight those stitches just vanish and there's nothing there then when I get to the end I'm just going to do again three stitches very tight on the same spot and that will help me tie it off there to make it a good solid seam at the end Sewn up now all of his sets, all of the seams on the arms and legs, and now we just need to sew his head onto his body. So just make sure it's in line with the front there of the body, and then it's nice and easy if you just put two pins either side to hold his head onto his body, like this, and just another pin onto the other side. And then it's just a case of using the same ladder stitch that you were showing before for the arms and sewing all the way around his neckline. Once you've sewn Bernard's head onto his body, then a good way to hide his neckline, if you're a little bit concerned that your stitching wasn't that neat around the neck, is to hide it behind a piece of ribbon. So I'm going to take that off for now, just so that I can show you how to do a button joint on his arm. So to do his button arms, then you just need to hold his arms in place, first of all. When you're happy with that position, then it's just a case of... If you're using a doll needle like this, it makes it extremely easy. If you're using just a normal size needle, then it can be done, it's just a little bit more fiddly and a little bit more patience will be needed. I've already got a knot in the end of my uh, thread here, and as you can see, I'm using a really nice thick thread so that it holds the joint nice and strong. And you can see I've pushed all the way through, and that really is so easy when you've got a doll needle. And then just pushing it back through again, and it's just a case of repeating that a couple of times, a few more times, until you're happy that his arms feel nice and secure. And then it's a case of tying it off. And there he is, Bernard Bear in all his glory, just waiting for you to pop some little nose and sew his ears on for him. I hope you found this video helpful. For lots more guides and tutorials, go to my website, cuddlecrewpatterns.com.